Hi there, everyone, and welcome to Sunday Sauce. Uh, today's topic is about loneliness. Um, this weekend, when Lisa was away on her scrapbook retreat, um, it just reminded me of loneliness. Um, she was gone just only for a couple days. As a matter of fact, she's gone today and going to be back uh, today as well sometime. So it just made me think and, and just remember about loneliness. Um, I know this is just a temporary weekend loneliness, but it's the love of my my life, and and, and it just reminded me of the loneliness. There were, there was a time in our lives when uh, we weren't together for a year, um, and that just reminded me of that time of loneliness. Um, and I know many of you can probably relate to this feeling of loneliness, whether it uh, be a spouse that maybe passed away or or maybe a divorce that brought you just you know to your knees and you're home alone, or maybe it was a parent uh, that had passed away and you're just you know really lonely about that, or maybe it's just an isolated loneliness where um, you have your spouse with you, but you're just not getting attention. You know, you your spouse comes home uh, from work, say how was your day, and they just kind of go. It was good, you know, where's the TV guy and the remote? Um, there's many forms of loneliness out there. I'm sure many of you can probably relate in differing and varying degrees of loneliness. I'm here today to tell you that um, through God's word, um, to try and help with that loneliness some. Um, doesn't make it go away, but I believe we can be less lonely uh, knowing that God is always with us that Jesus is always with us. So, um, first let's kind of define loneliness. I, I've mentioned some of the ways people feel lonely and are lonely. And according to Les Carter, loneliness is a feeling of separation or isolation or distance in human relations. Loneliness implies emotional pain, an empty feeling, a yearning to tell or be understood and accepted by someone out there. So many of us feel like, you know, we're not accepted by, by anyone out there. We just feel this isolation, this loneliness. So I'd like to bring up with you Psalm 73, 23 through 26 and 28. So I'll get out my trusty Bible here. Let's see what God's word has to say. So Psalm 73, 23 through 26 and 28. God's word reads, Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterwards you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you, and earth has nothing I desire besides you? My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell all of your deeds. So that tells a, a bit about just trusting in God and, and being with God. Um, and a verse that's always helped me with a lot of anxiety to do with loneliness is 1 Peter 5 7 also. 1 Peter 5 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares about you. So if you have a lot of anxiety about being lonely and everything, just, you know, God is there with you and just cast that onto him. And I believe his love will help in that matter. And Psalm 147.3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So God not only can listen to you and does listen to you when you're talking to him or praying to him, but he can also heal your brokenheartedness and bind up that wound for you. So I hope, um, you know, a lot of this did help with loneliness. I know it's... It's a deep topic with a lot of, of hurt, but I also believe that 
uh, when you embrace God and embrace his word, that it will help you with your loneliness. Because one day, as followers of Christ, we will be in heaven and we will be not lonely anymore for those who may have passed on or or, or left or, or whatever your loneliness of isolation, whatever it may be. I believe God can heal those wounds. So I'd just like to end this uh, with a prayer for all those that are lonely out there. We can just bow our heads, please. Lord God, we just come to you right now, and we know that you're with us, and you're always around us, Lord God. And I just thank you for that. Thank you for the blessings that you give us in your word that says we can cast our anxiety onto you, and that you will heal our wounds, Lord God. I thank you for that. There was times that even in the garden where when you went to pray alone, that you were alone and 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 a little bit isolated, you know, your followers, your closest friends, even fell asleep during that time when you asked them not to. And Lord God, I just pray that you can touch and comfort those uh, that are lonely, uh, that are feeling lonely right now. However that loneliness is, whatever that loneliness is. Just thank you all, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So guys, um, part of this I would like to do also is, is just ask you to reach out to those that uh, you may feel are, are lonely, um, whether it be through the YouTube or maybe sending a, a, a piece of mail like, like you know the snail mail that we have on the Facebook group there. Just reach out to, to people. And if you are one of those lonely people, you know, reach out to someone else. You know, join a, a, a small group group Bible study at your church and, and get involved a little bit to maybe be around others so that you're, it may help you not be quite so lonely. But most of all, just pray to God and ask him to help you with your loneliness. So if you've liked this video and, and just pass it along to others who you may think may need God's word, we thank you again for, for joining Sunday Sauce and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.